About time, folks. It is NFL Draft Week. We've been talking about the draft all offseason. It's been forever. Just draft, 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 draft. And now it's freaking finally here. Thursday, NFL Draft. Get to see what the Lions are going to do. Upgrade this roster. Get it better to compete. Win the NFC North. Get in there and make a playoff run. That's what it's all about. Finally, it's here. Casino on Thursday, in person. We're going to be at Soaring Eagle Casino. Going to be an epic time. Myself, Everything King, Dose of Dion, Herman Moore, Chrissy. We're going to have a blast. There's going to be more guests, by the way, just FYI. Autograph signings and giveaways. It's going to be an epic time. You'll be able to watch the draft and hang out with us. Make sure you show up. It's going to be really freaking cool. In this video, we're mocking the mock. This is mock draft week. You all know what's happening. This one is a seven-round mock by Mike Payton from Pride of Detroit. We're going to go over it. Is it legit? Is it BS? Is it just completely foolhardy? Is it out of the realm of possibility? You know how we do on here. We're going to go over it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. And most importantly, hit that like button. It really does help this thing out. Without further ado, let's go. <sighs> Look, I like mock drafts right at this point. This is where you're like, okay, people are really starting to finalize. You don't want to screw up when you're somebody who writes this stuff or talks about it. You want to get it right. That's the most important thing. So now seeing mock drafts come out, I like to really pay attention. Local and big. So here, this is more local, pride of Detroit, getting Mike Payton's view on what he thinks is going to happen here. Let's go ahead and dig into it. And make sure you grade this bad boy. Grade the mock draft A, B, C, D, or F. That is going to be the pinned comment for this video. So with the first one, we trade up here from pick 6 to 3 with the Arizona Cardinals. Lions give up 6 and 48 and a 2024 second round pick. And we go from 6 to 3. And we get pick 168. The Lions select Will Anderson Edge out of Alabama. First off, I would absolutely love this trade. I would be happy with it. Yes, you're giving up two second round picks. One this year, one next year. But you're getting a premium talent and you have nine draft picks this year. Nine premium talent. You're getting an edge rusher in Will Anderson that's going to set the edge with Aiden Hutchinson and smash the hell out of quarterbacks. You're trying to make a playoff run. Will Anderson is right now, of all the players in this year's draft, he is the least bustable player in this bad boy at the position of defense that we need. We need help at defense. Edge, where you can never have enough. Yes, we have edge. We're pretty good at that position. But you know what you're getting with Will Anderson. You're getting a guy that never stops. Sounds like Aiden Hutchinson, a never-ending motor, who is a pro on and off the field. And you pair him up with Aiden, that's a dynamic duo for many, many years. I would do the trade. I would. I knew, no, we can't do the trade, give up. Look, do get it get it done, man. Let's let's get Will Anderson. I think that would be outstanding. I do think it's possible. When you got nine draft picks, you're not gonna draft nine players, folks. You're just not gonna do it. You draft nine players, some of these guys are gonna get cut, picked up from other teams, or just go to the practice squad. So let's go ahead. Make sure we get our premium talent. Get out there with the the guy you know is not going to suck in the NFL. Let's continue on here. We got at pick 18, he goes Quinton Johnston, wide receiver TCU. I understand this pick. I know a lot of people say, what? Wide receiver? Our wide receiver, Jameson Millens, just suspended six games. We already, at Quintus Cephas was released. And we know Marvin Jones Jr. is a one-year fix. So, with the Jamison Williams suspension, and he's let's let's be let's be honest here, he's had a rough career so far as a Detroit line. You can get a big body wide receiver at 18 that can automatically make your offense better. 50-50 catch. He's fast and big. Something that we don't have on this team is size. And that's something that he can bring to this offense. And with, again, Jamison Williams not being there, this offense can continue to be dynamic from 
week one because we need to start fast offensively. We do got to start fast. We can't be a team that starts one and six. Can't do it. We're trying to win the NFC North. You got to be able to start fast in the season and finish good. We need to win, and we need to have this offense complete. And now wide receiver is, I want to say it's really a giant need, but it's becoming somewhat of a need. Personally, I would say probably round three. And I'll, I don't think we need to get a wide receiver at 18. I don't think it's that big of a pressing need. But if they want to do a late two or, or a three, I think that would be good. You can get a guy that can kind of take over that role because we do have pretty good depth there. But still, I'm, I understand this. I'm not going to be, and I'm not going to rip Rick up Mike for this. I'm not going to do it because I understand it. Totally get this pick. I would probably go Bijan Robinson. Let's go ahead and if he's there or maybe go cornerback. But I'm not going to argue with this bad boy. Let me know in the comment section. Do you think it's okay to go Quint Quinton Johnston at 18? Let's continue on here. Sakia Ikea defensive tackle. Baylor, he's going with the big-bodied man interior defensive line. This would be an interesting selection because I thought it, it generally when it goes to defensive tackle, they go with the lighter side. They go bigger here to really clog the middle up to stop the run. Look, we need help at defensive tackle. We absolutely do. And I'm not going to be upset at all if they go um, SI. I'm going to just call him SI, the big fat guy. In the middle, for sure. And then you pair him up with Aiden Hutchinson, Will Anderson, and the rest of the, uh, Joshua Pascal. Your defensive line's complete. I think they'd probably go more Kalijah Kansi, a uh, style of defensive tackle. Maybe a Gervon Dexter here. Someone a little bit different. I'm not sure they would go with this big of a guy. We do got a Lee McNeil. And I think that's kind of the role they go. So, but I'm not going to be upset about it. I want to be, I want to stop the run. I want to be able to end anyone hitting the middle of the Lions defense. It has been an issue for years. And how do you win in the NFL? Stop the run and run the football, right? There you go. That's a guy that will do it. But I think it's a little less likely. Just a little less likely. Let's continue on here. Going Diane Hanley from Washington State. This would be a fabulous pick in round three. I don't think he falls to round three. I think he's more of a second-round prospect. This would be a grand slam, a great coverage linebacker. We need help at linebacker. We're getting killed on the middle of the field. You pair him up with Alex Anzalone. You pair him up with Malcolm Rodriguez. Much better defensively. I'm really happy if this happens. This would be the... Best value pick right now in the draft. Not saying the best pick, but the best value pick. Last year, my value pick was Kirby Joseph. This would be an absolute steal in round three. It would be a fantastic pick. So in this draft, you got edge, defensive tackle, linebacker. That's a damn good start to fix this defense of what you've already did in free agency. So right now, I'm loving this mock draft, I got to say. So, really good selection here. This is my favorite one so far from Mike. Let's continue on here. Luke Shoemaker, tight end from Michigan. We're talking about a 152 pick. Look, I'm not, you know me, when it comes to tight ends, I'm not really too keen on it. I'm not going to complain about a round five tight end. I would rather go guard here. This is the position I'd like. I'd rather, okay, we need to get a guard at some point. We don't really need tight end. So I'm not high or keen on getting a tight end. Could they go tight end in round five? Yeah, they absolutely could. We got we got a ton of we got two round five picks. So if they want to go here and and boost it up and get Shoemaker from Michigan, go ahead and do that. Perfectly fine with it. I mean, I'm not perfectly fine with it. I would rather go guard. That is my preference. But it is possible they could take a tight end in the later part of the round. It is. Let's, let's be honest here. So it's possible. Let's continue on. Going with, because I haven't even seen this, Garrett Williams, cornerback from Syracuse. So going corner here, I think this is a really good spot to get corner, in all honesty, because you don't need to get one early. We got a lot of veterans there, so you can get one in round five here. Get a guy that can sit there. Um, he had injury history. He'd fall a little bit. You know how Brad Holmes is. 
You you can get a guy that pre- predominantly could may have been a fourth round pick in the later fifth round developmental there with with the rest of the guys we got. I'd be perfectly fine with this. Any developmental player, I'm not gonna bitch about because it's developmental guys, and that's what it's all about. You know, you get you just go BPA guys you think that can project well. So I'm perfectly fine with that. No problem with it. He's not going to be starting anytime soon. Maybe special teams. But other than that, it's development. Let's continue on here. Pick 168, Riley Moss, cornerback there. So he's going uh, two corners back-to-back. I don't think that would happen. I honestly don't believe that would happen. But totally get it. Round six pick. Not going to be upset. I really don't know a whole lot about this guy. Um, says here that the guy's a ball hawk. 11 interceptions during his time in Iowa. I do like that. I got to do a little bit more research on this guy because I like that 11 interceptions. I absolutely do. That is something good. But if they go back to back, I'm not going to whine. Trade with the Los Angeles Rams. The Lions get picks 179. Rams get 183 and 194. We get Dorian Thompson Robinson, quarterback UCLA. I've been talking about him on many mock drafts. Very possible Lions draft this guy. Very possible. This would be a great pick. Developmental quarterback, dual threat mobile. He's not ready to play, but he could sit behind Jared Goff, and he would be a good QB too, for sure. I would love this pick. I think it's a perfect fit for Detroit. I've been talking about DTR for months now, for since week four of the NFL season. So this just seems like a really good fit for Detroit. He gets it. For sure. I'm going to give this this mock draft. I'm going to give this a, a I'm going to give this an I'm going to give it an A. I'm going to give it an A. It would be a little bit higher. We needed guard, but man, I can't complain with the guys they got here. I really do like it. Will Anderson, hell of a pick. Getting Hanley in round 3 is is absolutely stunning. That would be a nutso pick. Um, so I'm going to give it an A. Let me know in the comment section, what is your grade on this mock draft? A, B, C, D, or F? Let me know in the comments below.